The Labrador Retriever is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, at least according to official dog registries. They are also known as a Labrador or simply a Lab. They are a beautiful, intelligent and noble dog which is suitable for all family types. If you're thinking of adopting a Labrador Retriever, it's important to get informed. This is how you can begin to offer the best care, especially since they are such an intelligent and active dog. At Animal Wised, we tell you everything you need to know about the Labrador Retriever so you can see why they are such beloved dogs. Despite their name, which refers to the province of Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada, the International Sinological Federation recognises the origin of the Lab as British. The history of this popular breed is related more specifically to the island of Newfoundland and its capital St John's. It is likely that the St John's water dog is a direct ancestor of the Labrador and originates in Britain. These water dogs were taken to Newfoundland by English fishermen. These dogs had to be tough, hardworking and adept swimmers. They also needed to have dense fur to protect them from the icy waters of the north with thick tails to help guide them in the water. The smallest variety of St John's water dog would have given rise to different breeds of retriever, the Labrador Retriever being just one of them. By the mid 18th century, some dogs from St John's were exported to England where they were used by a handful of breeders to obtain the perfect retriever. After several carefully bred generations, the Labrador Retriever was born. In the first two decades of the 20th century, the morphological base of this breed was established in England, leading to what we can see today. At this time, there were already several retrievers registered in the English Kennel Club. After World War II, the Labrador began to gain popularity. Little by little, they demonstrated their great qualities as a working dog, but undoubtedly their popularity grew due to an endearing appearance and equally lovable nature. The Labrador Retriever is a medium-sized dog with a strong muscular and compact body. For males, the height at the withers is around 56 to 57 centimeters. For females, they are between 54 and 56 centimeters. The weight of males should be between 27 and 34 kilos and 25 to 32 kilos for females. The Labrador's coat is short, dense and without any waves. They have a double coat with a soft and waterproof undercoat. The outer coat is harder and helps maintain water insulation. The colours accepted for this breed are black, chocolate and gold. The golden colour can range from light cream to reddish tones. Small white spots on the chest are acceptable. One of the most notable features of the Labrador Retriever is its character. Due to their friendly appearance and exceptionally sociable character, this dog is one of the world's most popular. Beyond being a companion animal, the stable character of these dogs has made them great rescue, therapy and assistance dogs. They are a sociable, friendly, loyal, intelligent and fun-loving breed. They are easy to train, so they are great company if you have the time and space. The Labrador is usually very friendly, even with strangers, but needs to be properly socialised as a puppy. The breed has a lot of energy and needs a lot of exercise. Although it can adapt to apartment living, they need long walks and to play with other dogs. A fondness for water is one of this dog's behavioural characteristics. Despite its many great qualities, the Labrador can be demanding of attention. It is important to educate them properly when young so they avoid excessive attention seeking and separation anxiety later on. Additionally, labs tend to have a prolonged adolescence, so they are not the best pet for people who prefer to lead a sedentary life. They are a great choice for those who enjoy outdoor physical activities. We start with the lab's daily routine, which should include three to four walks well distributed throughout a day. This routine needs to be combined with active exercise as it is a breed known for their insatiable appetite so obesity needs to be avoided. Exercise will also help to channel their active and restless temperament. We can play simple games with them such as fetch, but agility training or exercise such as canacross are ideal. Swimming is also preferable for this breed. Toys are important to stimulate cognition and to channel their natural energy. Ideally. Combine conventional toys such as Kongs with intelligence games for dogs. 
Some Labradors may have a habit of chewing objects, so chew toys might also be advisable. To keep their coat clean, they need brushed a couple of times a week and a bath once every two months, or when the dog is very dirty. We should regularly clean their teeth and ears as well as trim their nails. It's essential you offer them a quality diet, whether based on commercial food or homemade recipes. Controlling portion size will also help reduce the chances of obesity, but contact a veterinarian if in any doubt. The Labrador Retriever is a relatively easy dog to educate and train thanks to its sociable character and predisposition toward affection and treats. The ideal socialization of any dog begins when they are a puppy, a process which needs to be continued throughout their life. They need to relate to all kinds of people, animals and objects. This avoids the development of fear in adulthood. They need to learn basic commands such as sitting, staying and coming when called. All these orders not only help the dog's safety, they help forge the strong bond you should share with your dog and stimulate them mentally. Since the Labrador Retriever has excellent natural qualities, you can help sharpen them through games and activities of all kinds. A way to keep them agile and happy is to play with them, something you will enjoy just as much as they. We can also begin advanced obedience training to further improve cognition, all the while remembering they are one of the smartest dogs in the world. The Labrador Retriever is a relatively healthy and long-lived dog. They stand out for their fitness and excellent health. However, excessive inbreeding in this breed has led to genetic diseases which, unfortunately, usually appear as the dog ages. A very common example is hip dysplasia. For our dog to enjoy a good state of health, ideally take them to a vet every 6 to 12 months. This will provide a basic review and highlight any health issues. In the same way, we can help prevent problems by providing general levels of good care. When they're a puppy, we need to initiate a vaccination schedule which needs to be maintained throughout their life. This helps prevent some of the most dangerous canine diseases. We should also carry out periodic deworming as prescribed by your veterinarian to protect against internal and external parasites. With this level of care, a Labrador Retriever can live between 10 and 15 years on average. Now you know the most important aspects of the Labrador, why not share your experiences in the comments? Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more to come, and we'll see you next time.